Hey, Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekaf Madash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations <clears throat> out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth Around me, fellowship from Malachi Alright, coming in with another lesson uh, Today um, <clears throat> You know, just You know, sitting here, you know, reading over uh, You know, the book of Psalms Chapter 46 And uh, this was, you know, what kind of sparked this lesson um, And, you know And this is how the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Alright, he is the refuge Of his people Okay, and not only that, all right, he's always going to be with us. All right, he's going to be with us even when you feel that he's not. All right, because the Lord has his spirit within us. Okay, that's that that's that 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 bright shining light, all right, that's resonating within us. Okay? So uh, I want to go ahead and get uh go ahead and get basically straight into it. I want to drag the lesson out. But uh, we're going to read a couple uh, precepts out of the book of Psalms 46. All right. It's going to go through the spirit. All right. It's the book of Psalms 46. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, To the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Alamoth. Okay. It says, The Most High is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed all right because the scripture says how the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shai has not given us the spirit of fear all right but of what of a sound mind all right he does that by what by having his spirit upon us all right and he's been giving us what the book okay which has his spirit within it yahweh by shim yahweh shai this is how we're able to uh, uh to, to to have and seek comfort okay by tending back into his spirit, by tapping back into this word, okay, to be fully indulged within it, okay, this is our uh, refuge, okay, his name, all right, the scripture says his name is a strong tower, let's get that, this is uh, <clears throat> Proverbs 18, In verse 10, it says, The name of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right? So we run into the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai always. All right? When we pray, all right? When we're fasting, when we're amongst brothers, when we're doing the work. All right, so on and so forth. It's always around the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, that is our strong tower. That is our refuge. Okay, always call upon that name. What when we are in troubles, when we are in uh, distress. All right, when we're around different type of calamities around the earth, we got always got to call upon that name Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. The Lord is going to uh, have us and keep us safe, all right, from the dangers that are uh, outside. Okay, uh, read it again. It says, the Most High is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will we not, so therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Okay? So it doesn't matter how the waves are going to be uh, uh, roaring, if the mountains shaking, ground shaking, okay? The earth being, uh, if the earth was to be removed, all right? We're always going to call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's the one that's gonna uh, uh, keep us all right in that good state. All right, let's jump to uh, John fourteen, verse eighteen. This is straight uh, straight to the point. It says, "I will not leave you comfortless. 
I will come to you. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to come to us. All right? Once he knocks on that door, okay, guess what? It's up to you. You have to open it up unto him so that he can come in and sup with you, which we're, gonna, we're about to get. Revelations 3 and 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Okay? That's how we're going to be supping with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by us opening the door. Okay? Because the Lord is knocking at the door. He's calling always. And when you open up that door, all right, this is when he's going to start to re, uh, uh, reveal all the secrets unto you. Okay? He ain't going to leave you comfortless. He's going to give you that download. Okay? That's him, what? Coming into you, his spirit. All right? He's going to be supping with you. He's going to be with you. Like the scripture says in the book of Revelations 3 and 10, how the Lord is going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Okay? His spirit is going to be on us throughout that, that heavy time. His name is going to be on us and in us at that very time. This is who we're going to be calling on. This is where we're going to be running into. His name, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, he's going to keep us safe. John 14 and 27, it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. All right? You don't let it be afraid because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to always be with you. The Lord said, I'm leaving this peace with you. He's left the comforter. He's left his, what? The spirit, the Holy Spirit. All right? To resonate within you, to be with you. All right? On your everyday walk, he's going to always be with you. All right? You got to always remember that. Okay? Because always remember when you feel like the Lord is not with you, all right, he's going to always be with you because he's inside you. Okay? Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So always meditate, all right, upon the prophecies. Always meditate upon the Psalms. Always meditate. Uh, meditate upon the prayers and the Psalms of, of David and, and Asaph and you know so on and so forth meditate on every single word because these are the things that's going to keep you filled alright the scripture says for lo I come in the volume of the book it is written of me so always alright don't let this uh, uh, this book of the law depart out of their mouth alright it says, uh, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For when, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So you want to have that good success, all right? You know, even, you know, in, in this world, all right? The Lord is going to uh, 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 be with you in, in knowledge and, and with wisdom, all right? How to walk amongst the people of this uh, uh, darkened generation. All right, he's gonna bring good success unto you while you're here walking upon the earth. All right, and good success here in this truth, so that you may grow thereby. All right, and to teach others. Verse nine, it says, "Have not I commanded thee?" See, this is the commandment the Lord He said. He even said it uh, through through the prophet Isaiah. I mean, we can get that next. Let me get that Isaiah forty one. Let's go back to that Joshua 1. All right, Joshua 1 and 9, it says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. See, we're not supposed to be afraid, dismayed about anything. Like I had stated earlier, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. Okay? It says, For the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest okay so it don't matter where you go the lord is going to always be with you always meditate upon uh, uh the truth always meditate upon the scriptures meditate upon the stories 
Because all these things are written for our learning for today. All right? It's the uh, book of Isaiah 41. Um, let's get that. Isaiah 41, verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. This is our refuge. Okay? Our fortress. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh our protector. It says, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Okay? The Lord is going to hold us up with his right hand of his righteousness. All right, which is who? Is it Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is going to always come and to deliver us. All right? He is the deliverer. All right? He's going to bring us to salvation. Okay? He's going to be with us on every single walk. Verse 11. It says, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So it don't matter who come up against you. It don't matter when Esau eat them come in like a flood. It don't matter when that time of the hour of temptation come. The Lord says he's going to always be with us. And everybody else is going to be as nothing. Okay? And they're going to and they're going to perish. It's written. Verse 12. It says, Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. So these people are going to be as nothing out here, man. Okay? It says, For I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, thy power, will hold thy right hand. See, the Lord is going to be walking with us in every step and every way. The scripture says in what? Uh, damn, what's that? Proverbs 20 and 24. How man's goings is of the uh, Lord. All right. So the Lord is directing your path. He's directing your steps. You don't think he's going to be with you. That's why you don't fear. That's why you don't doubt. The Lord is always with us. Even when you feel that he's not. Okay. Even when it looks like it's all dark and stormy outside, you don't look like how you you don't know how you're gonna get yourself uh, through this point because it looks so cloudy and it's very dark. Just know that Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is with you. All right, He's that light. He's gonna guide you and direct you the path that you need to go. That's why you don't take no thought of what tomorrow is gonna bring. All right, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna be with you, man. Always remember that. Verse 13, it says, For I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Okay? The Lord is going to help us. Okay? Especially in the times of trouble. It says, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right? It is many of uh, uh, us than it is of them. Okay? The Lord has his angels all around us, all protected around us. This is why you got different stories from uh, uh, different accounts from brothers that have been going through certain things, all right, to the point of almost at the brink of death. But they got themselves delivered out of it. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai was with them. This is the book of Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And that expected end is us expecting to be delivered, hoping and praying. I read that the Lord is going to bring salvation unto the hopeful elect all right and if you're able to listen to this video or you're able to receive it you uh, you may very well be of that elect number okay and you just got to believe on the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the Lord said he has thoughts of peace towards us not evil the evil is going up unto the people of this world the ones who was disobedient the ones who didn't want to listen and hearken unto what the prophets were telling them all right, in the time that they had the liberty to change. So their expected end is destruction. Your expected end should be for salvation. 
All right. Verse 12, it says, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. So in the time of the trouble, when everything starts to come, all these calamities, all right, when Esau, Edom come in like a flood, when, when, when all hell, when Jacob's trouble, when all this shit come to play, all right, the elect, they're going to call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We're going to go and we're going to pray unto him, and he is going to hear us. The scripture says how the uh what the what the prayers of the humble uh pierce up the clouds. So the Lord's gonna hear us in that time of trouble. So don't be afraid, don't doubt. Verse 13 it says, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye sh shall search for me with all your heart. See, at that time, that's when you're gonna see the true worshipers, the true people of the Lord. Okay. They're going to sincerely be out there crying and, and praying unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in that time of trouble. Okay? Verse 14, it says, And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because the Lord's going to find us in that time. He's already with us, but he's going to be waiting for that, 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 that right moment. All right? When the elect is all the backs up against the wall. But that's when we're going to see the Lord, Yahweh, all right, going to bring his son, Yahweh Shai, to come and to redeem us. It says, and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whether I have driven you, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord says he's going to gather us from all the different nations. He's going to be doing that by what? Bringing Yahweh Shai. It's a lot. Yahweh Shai. Let's get that. Try to do two, three different things at one time. <laughs> uh, this is the book of Matthew 24, verse 30. All right. And this is going to be the coming of our Lord when he returns. It says, Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That's, that's going to be our what? Our deliverer. That's going to be our refuge. All right? That's going to be our help, our protection at that time. It says, And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. It says, And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. That's going to be the salvation. That's going to be when Yahweh sent his son, Yahweh Shai, to come and to redeem the elect. Everybody else is going to be mourning, going through all different types of, uh, types of shit. And then they're going to see the chariots. The scriptures talk about how it's going to be the curse uh, over the earth. But towards us, it's going to be for peace. The Lord's going to come get and gather his elect. All right. It says, um, let's read that again. It says, and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all nations and from all places, whether I have driven you, saith the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. The Lord's going to bring us up. Beam us up, okay? And he's going to take us, like the scripture says, he's going to place us himself, all right, into our own land. You read that in Isaiah, what's that, uh, Isaiah 14, okay? So never fear. Don't doubt. Don't be afraid. Don't don't think that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is not with you. Even when you're going through your, your times of trouble or your afflictions or whatever, always remember to call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? The Lord is with you even when you feel he is not. He's going to always be with you. He's always with his elect. And the scripture says he has care unto his elect. All right? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwathim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety 
salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant Malakaya. Shalom.